Hi my loves, I hope you're doing well. Today I will be reviewing Chanel's Le Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue Longwear Liquid Lipsticks. First I will talk about how they apply, then I will get into the pros and cons or what I like or dislike about them and then share my most complimented shade and then my final thoughts. So if that's something you're interested in, please keep watching. And before I start, if you're new here, hello and welcome. I make videos on perfumes, handbags and beauty and I do hauls, tags and reviews. So if that's something you're interested in, I would really appreciate if you would consider subscribing to my channel and do hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos and giveaways. So I first got into them because I was researching for lipsticks that do last a long time. And I had watched a couple of YouTube videos and done some research on finding like the really long wear transfer proof lipstick. And when I tried it, it seemed to be that way. So let's first talk about the application. So these are basically called the double wear or double intensity liquid lipsticks. So they have product on two sides. One side is the actual lipstick where you have some the color and it comes with the doe foot applicator. And on the other side, you have the clear gloss. So the way you would apply is that you will first put the lipstick side and then you wait for about 60 seconds or so and these do dry up very quickly so it's best to work with them with a swift hand and then you got to wait about 60 seconds or so until they are dry and then that's when you apply gloss so what i love the most about these is that they are really transfer proof they don't leave any stains on coffee cups or glasses which i really like and i was actually looking for a lipstick that I could wear to work. I just don't like leaving lipstick stains at work. I don't know, I have a thing about it. The next thing I really like about these are that they are really long wearing. They last several hours, even meals. Even if they do start to wear off, it's barely noticeable because of the shade. I like that they already come with a gloss because this is quite drying on its own. So it provides moisture and I like that you can also control the amount of shine you want. So you can apply very little of it and it will still be okay. Let's see if it's dry enough now. So this is dry. So you just put a little bit of gloss and you're good to go. So I just put enough to moisten the lips because otherwise it can be a bit drying. And this formula is so good, guys. It doesn't bleed. It doesn't crack. There is no caking. Once I put it on in the morning, I can just forget that it's even there. The formula is very lightweight. And they do have a very wide shade range that would suit every skin tone. I believe there are about 29 different shades to choose from. And I actually have four, but the fourth one I can't find. So this one that I have applied is called Tender Beige. This is a very beautiful, like a dusty rose nude shade. Now let's see if it transfers or not. See, there's nothing there. And so you see it is transfer proof. There's nothing there. And that's what I love about these the most, that it does not transfer, it stays put. And that's exactly what I was looking for in a lipstick. And this one checked all my boxes. Now let's move on to what I don't like about these. One is that the darker shades are a bit of a problem. What I don't like is that the dark shade, or at least the one that I have, which is the red. So this red is called Daring Red. Gives me a bit of a problem. This I have another one, which is, a, I think it's a blueberry shade. It's a very deep berry shade. And that works fine. That doesn't give me as much trouble, but this red does and maybe it's an old one that i got because rest of them are all square shaped but this is round so maybe this is older one i don't know but this one does fade a little bit if i eat something but even along the day as the day progresses i do find that it starts to disappear towards the evening and because this is a pretty dry and long wearing formula you can't just rub your lips together and make it work so you have to go and reapply it, which is not my favorite thing to do. The other thing that I don't like is that it has to be used with the gloss that it comes with. Otherwise, it can feel very dry. 
and so you cannot get a matte finish with this. You can be a bit light-handed with the gloss, but you have to apply it. And the last thing is, and it's not really something I truly dislike, but it's just additional work. So you cannot remove this with just a regular makeup remover. You have to use waterproof makeup remover to really get this off. And if you don't, this is something that's going to stay on you the next day. Really, I mean, this is not something that's going to come off that easy. So for me, the pros outweigh the cons. It lasts long, doesn't budge, doesn't leave stains, it's transfer proof, doesn't cake or bleed, does not dry up the lips. Like I've tried some other long wearing products and by the end of the evening, my lips start to get chapped and peel off. So that doesn't happen with this. And these have become my favorite lip product, guys. I started with this particular shade here. It's called Light Rose, which is my favorite shade from this collection. And it is also my most complimented one. And this particular shade, I will always repurchase. This is my second or third tube. And I hope this one never gets discontinued. It's a beautiful soft pink. And my go-to shade for work, for work interviews, daytime, even dinner with friends. It's a beautiful, slightly corally pink, like a salmon pink, but it just looks really nice on me. And I also like to wear it in the cooler months where I usually prefer dusty pinks like this one, but I will use it occasionally to brighten a gloomy winter day. And I like this one so much and how it wears on me that I decided to get more shades from this collection. And even though they are quite pricey at about $38 a pop, I think they're absolutely worth it. And also I buy mine during the 15% beauty sale at Macy's. For some reason, they are currently unavailable at Macy's and Nordstrom. I don't know if it's because of COVID, but they are available on Chanel website. And I definitely think they are worth it for me because I get a lot of use out of them. And the best part for me is that I'm not constantly checking on my lipstick. So I highly recommend this lip wear. Do give it a try if you can, and it's really worth every penny. I do have another liquid lipstick in my collection that comes close in performance to these, and that is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. The only problem is that I can't test these out anymore. Sephora doesn't carry them, and where I live, there isn't any place close by where these are carried. Macy's used to have them, but that they don't have them anymore in store. They're only available online, so I really can't test them out, which is a bummer because these are comparatively quite affordable. I believe these retail for 20 something dollars, so really half the price of the Chanel ones. But because I can't really try, I don't have much of a choice than to go for Chanel. And in some way, I do prefer the Chanel one because it comes with a gloss. So if I do want extra moisture, I can always go ahead and put on that gloss. Whereas these are quite dry and very mattifying. Uh, do let me know if you've used these. What do you think about them? And is it something that you will consider buying if you don't already have them? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have used the red shade, how has it worked for you? Does it smudge? Does it disappear on you and look terrible after a meal or you're able to work with it? So that was my review and my thoughts, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.